Welcome back guys. Uh, today I thought I would do a video that is really geared towards um, people who are kind of fed up with Windows. They would like to move to something else but they they don't have someone who is actually pushing or encouraging them to look at alternatives. It's really easy just to fall back on what you know even though as we all know Windows has a lot of disadvantages and can also have a lot of negative effects on the everyday user who may not be up to speed as far as how to protect their uh, computer from viruses, malware, ransomware, etc. And so today I thought I'd talk a little bit about how we as uh, experienced Linux users can convert and get more and more people over to the Linux side of computing. In the past, uh, I think many Linux users treated it more as a hobby rather than a day-to-day -day operating system. So they would use Linux 60 or 70 percent of the time but then switch over to Windows for things that they either weren't comfortable with on 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 Linux or uh, were not able to duplicate on Linux. Well that situation has pretty much changed. I really can't think of anything that you can do in Windows that you can't do in Linux. I think there's a, a substitute for almost every app um, Windows Office files can be recognized and processed within Linux and so there's really no reason that the average Linux that the average computer user um, would not be able to switch to Linux they it just needs maybe a little push maybe a little encouragement maybe a little education and so this video is going to be dedicated to the the users who currently are using Windows but they're dissatisfied and they don't really know where to turn. Uh, for, for all of the regular uh, viewers of my videos um, I'm counting on you guys to uh, spread the word so to speak. Feel free to email the link to, the, to this YouTube video uh, to all of your friends and relatives who you think might be interested in moving away from Windows and getting in, uh, involved in Linux. And so I'm going to go over a little bit of a strategy. My recommendations for someone who is currently using Windows but would like to dip their toes into the Linux uh, water and see what it's all about. So I'm going to go over a few things that I think that the average uh, computer user would want to know. So in my opinion the average computer user um, has basic computing needs and of course those needs need to be satisfied within Linux. So let's talk about one at a time. Uh, a word processor that's used within Windows well there are many alternatives within Linux if you now I'm gonna I'm gonna use this uh, Zubuntu install this is Zubuntu and the new 1710 <clears throat> but if I were a new Linux user I would go for uh, the the distributions that I would recommend would be Zubuntu where you can go to zubuntu.org and download the uh, ISO file. You burn that to a USB. There are lots of videos on how to do that. And then just boot from the USB. Now the thing I like about the, the uh, distributions that I'm going to recommend for the first time Linux user is that it will set up your dual boot so that you can keep window, uh, Windows around for a little while 
while you're getting used to Linux. And one of the choices when you're booting from the ISO and selecting an install, one of the choices is to install Linux right alongside your Windows. And it makes it very easy. Now if you if you talk about Linux Zubuntu, talk about Linux Mint and Linux Lite, um, those would be my top three. My top two recommendations would be Linux Mint and Zubuntu. Now the reason I select those as the in my opinion the best distributions for an absolute new user is because they they have a fam if you if you load up the XFCE desktop it has a familiar look and feel to it so you will feel right at home if you're coming from Windows 7 or Windows 10 or Windows 8 uh, the menu is very intuitive and it comes with a lot of software that you'll need on a daily basis so let's go through some of those uh, needs and requirements of a new Linux user one is word processor well Zubuntu as an example installs LibreOffice uh, right out of the box you have a dictionary a document viewer for your PDFs and you've got LibreOffice which includes a word processor a spreadsheet um, office writer calendar and global time shows clocks from different countries so from an office environment standpoint the average user has everything they need right out of the box going to Zubuntu now the next item on the list would be a browser now Zubuntu comes with Firefox but you can install Google Chrome you can install Opera you can install Vivaldi but right off the bat you'll have Firefox right out of the box you'll be able to browse and you'll be able to uh, go to all the websites that you normally visit when you're using your Windows the next item is gaming now the average uh, computer user does a minimal amount of gaming. I'm saying average user. Uh, a gaming enthusiast, of course, would have other requirements. But for games, Zubuntu, as an example, gives you Mines, a Puzzles Collection, and Sudoku. I installed Steam. It's very easy to install Steam, and that will give you access to a lot of uh, Linux games. Um, a little bit I'm gonna click on the link and and, and you'll see that it'll, it'll give you um, access to a variety of games that are not as uh, simplified as some of the ones that come installed out of the box but you can see I've got American Truck Simulator Euro Truck Simulator as you can see on this list there are a ton of great games available within Steam for Linux. The next topic out of the box would be social media. So now there are Twitter um, substitutes and my recommendation would be to use your browser to go to your Twitter feeds and and your Facebook uh, you can access most social media sites from within your browser so if you use Google or you use Firefox you'll be able to access all of your social media you'll be able to keep in touch with your family and friends and you won't really notice a difference moving from Windows now the big thing about coming from Windows is security. Uh, recently you saw the WannaCry ransomware. Now ransomware is no joke. Uh, it can be devastating if you have 
if you haven't backed up all of your files, all your your uh, your digital media, your photos, your, your all your uh, songs that you've downloaded from iTunes or or Spotify, all all these things are especially your photographs and your home movies. They're not replaceable. And so if you haven't backed them up, no matter what type of computer you're using, do yourself a favor and back everything up. The first really rule of using a computer is to back up your data. And most, most uh, computer experts today recommend redundant backups, more than one copy. Some, depending on the complexity, and the volume of data that you need to back up, some even recommend off-site. Now off-site backups are really par for the course with businesses, but many personal uh, users are now keeping off-site backups of their most sensitive information. So all of their financial records, uh, all of their home movies, digital photographs, those cannot be replaced. So if they're not backed up, my one piece of critical advice to you would be to get all that, all those items backed up today. Uh, hard drives, SSDs, flash drives, they're coming down in price and they're very affordable and you don't want to be caught in a situation like so many users recently with WannaCry the ransomware where they didn't have backups of their important data and they ended up having to pay these thieves money hard-earned money to get their access to their data that's that's not right and it's certainly avoidable so backup 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 now it, with Linux there's always a debate as to whether or not you need uh, antivirus software, but, in, but from my perspective, I say, why not? Do you need it? Probably not. The prevailing philosophy is that you don't. But why wouldn't you want to have it? It's available. It's free of charge. You can download a great antivirus program that will pr give you an additional layer of protection on top of the protection that Linux affords you right out of the box. Now as I said before to all of my regular viewers if you pass this video along to your friends and relatives and let them know that there is a uh, an alternative to Windows and also there's a vast community of users just like them who are willing to help them over the rough spots if they have any and get them up to speed and becoming proficient in Linux now if you follow my advice and go with Zubuntu or Linux Mint or Linux Lite you, the, your learning curve will be minimal. As you can see from this desktop, it looks very much like a Windows 7 desktop. You've got your system tray, open windows, you can, you can put uh, additional, as you can see I've got a calculator there, you can put additional launchers right in your panel and the, the menu is very much like a Windows 7 menu and that's why my recommendation is Linux Mint XFCE or Zubuntu I would recommend that you download the latest stable version and those uh, I'll put links to those websites in the show notes for this video so that you can just click on it and download the ISO and just remember if you want to try Linux for the first time and you need additional information you can take a look at my videos there are lots of other youtubers who put great content online and it's all free of charge and it's all designed to help you 
get acclimated to Linux to get more and more users of Linux. I want to see Linux go from being a hobby to being mainstream. And I think that's certainly doable. I think one of the Linux uh, drawbacks is that there's not enough exposure. And that's why I'm asking you guys to get this video out to your friends and your relatives. Let them know that Linux is out there as an alternative to Windows. And let's see if we can get as many people as possible on board with Linux. Because the advantages of using Linux over Windows are are many many and you guys uh, who watch and view these videos on a regular basis know how important Linux is to us so let's spread the word and uh, see if we can uh, round up uh, hundreds if not thousands of new users and get them up and running so they can enjoy Linux on a daily basis like we do so guys, that is it for this video. Again, thank you very much for stopping by the channel. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.